Hi, my name's Miles George. I'm the Managing Director of Infogen Energy. I'll be a speaker at the Wind Farms Design, Development and Construction 2010. Um, I have been involved in wind farm development since 2000. Uh, Infogen Energy was established in 2003 and has grown to become Australia's largest wind energy owner and operator. Um, we have five major wind farms operating in Australia and we have a large development pipeline. Um, we propose to construct projects from that pipeline to satisfy the federal government's 20% by 2020 target. Sure, I started out uh, wind farm development about 10 years ago, um, so my experience has really been in um, all of the facets of wind farm development from uh, signing up landowners um, through to planning approvals, uh, environmental approvals, connection studies, uh, power purchase agreements, uh, equipment procurement and so on through to um, construction and then operation of wind farms. Um, the Australian industry has grown strongly uh, since uh, Infogen was established in 2003, um, largely off the back of the regulatory environment established by the Renewable Energy Target legislation. Uh, that target was substantially increased by the Rudd government in August 2009 uh, to a level of 20% renewables by 2020. Um, that target provides a, a great incentive for the growth of the industry generally and of our business in Infogen. Well, there's really three key areas of uh, wind farm development that you need to satisfy. One is um, you need clearly a, wind, a windy site. Um, secondly, you need a good connection. Um, and thirdly, you need community acceptance. And they're all equally important. I think the, the challenges for the industry um, over the next 10 years are going to be significantly in the area of connection, um, where um, there's a need for significant transmission augmentation in order to um, access sites that, that satisfy the other two key criteria of uh, being windy and having community acceptance. I think as a nation we're starting a long way behind. Uh, if you look at Europe or the US, uh, in, in other countries, uh, initiatives have started earlier and made a lot more progress than we have in Australia. Uh, renewable energy um, has been essentially um, driven, as I said, by the regulatory regime. That regulatory regime has fluctuated quite a bit over uh, the last 10 years um, and as a result Australia has a very low level of penetration of new renewable energy over that period and yet um, Australia in fact has one of the best um, sources of renewable energy anywhere in the world in terms of uh, wind energy but also solar energy and other renewable resources. I think there will be a, a large increase in renewable energy uh, project development in Australia and particularly wind. So the current level of penetration of wind energy, which is less than 2% of supply, um, we would expect to grow substantially, something in the order of 1,000 megawatts per annum uh, of new wind farm development and that will mean a significant change in the structure of our industry. Um, some of the changes that will result is an increased focus on the operation of wind farms. Uh, early on, uh, wind farms are established and typically operated by the turbine suppliers. Um, we would see a significant change happening in Australia over the next 10 years where um, owner operators become more common rather than turbine suppliers um, operating wind farms. In the, in the development area, I suspect uh, that we'll see a move to lower wind resource sites uh, different turbines to accommodate those lower wind resources uh, and we'll see uh, significant uh, transmission network augmentation to accommodate uh, a, a, a significant increase in wind farm development in Australia. The Wind Farm Development Design and Construction 2010 is an extremely important event. Uh, at the moment Australia is poised for a very substantial growth in wind energy in Australia. Um, from a very low level of penetration currently, um, something less than 2%, um, to something uh, of the order of 12% uh, by ABARE um, estimates. Uh, certainly by our own uh, estimation, uh, there will be an addition of something in the order of 1,000 megawatts, 800 to 1,000 megawatts of wind capacity added each year over the next 10 years to meet the 20% by 2020 target.